Hello everyone, welcome to a massive new video, a very important video on the Ohio uh, Republican Senate primary. So, people on Twitter have been going insane over this, people over on Predict have been going crazy over this. This is one of the top races in the country really right now, and everyone's paying attention to it. The primary, we're approaching the end really, and I've covered this race a lot, I mean... If you know me on Twitter or you've watched my previous videos on this race, you'll know that I am a big supporter of a uh, JD Vance. I endorsed him over a year ago, prior before he even announced a year ago in a video uh, in March, uh, months before he announced in July, and we're approaching the end here. So there's been a massive new developments on this race. A, a, ma a big story came out yesterday. Trump plans J.D. Vance endorsement and crowded Ohio Senate race, sources say. This is the Republican primary in Ohio remains tight among the crowded field. So this is this is a huge development. I have been I have been leaning towards I I have been leaning towards that Trump will endorse J.D. Vance. And basically, this is what this th this is what this article has basically proven. Prior stories from Trump insiders basically basically confirmed that Trump doesn't he does not he's probably not going to endorse Timken, definitely not going to endorse Gibbons. This was basically confirmed the uh, several times. I mean, Trump has basically basically doesn't even know who Gibbons is. Who, if you got you guys have probably seen this, but there was a terrible clip that. Uh, that got Gibbons a, like a lot of uh, heat because he basically said that middle class people don't pay enough in taxes. And if you watch the whole, it, it pay, don't pay enough in income taxes compared to the rich. And if you watch the whole clip, I mean, it's even worse than it sounds. And this caused this caused him a lot of support. I'm gonna show what happened to Gibbons' support on this new this new Trafalgar poll, which just dropped this morning, and uh, also on predicted his odds plummeted on there as well. So anyways, former President Donald Trump plans to endorse J.D. Vance in Ohio's crowded Senate Republican primary according to three sources with knowledge of his decision. In recent days, Trump has begun calling donors and advisors to get their opinions on endorsing the hillbilly elegy author, but he held off under intense pressure from the rival Republican campaigns of Josh Mandel and Jane Timken, sources said. And it even says here the Mandale people hit the roof. One Republican with knowledge of the of the discussions told NBC News, noting that Re Ohio Republican Representative Jim Jordan tried to dissuade Trump from the endorsement. And Jim Jordan is he was uh, acting on the behalf of uh, Mandel. So just like pretty much every other primary, like anywhere outside the South, um, there is a there is no runoff. The person who gets the most amount of votes in a primary election wins. So, you know, whoever has one more vote than the guy in second place basically wins. So, if Trump endorses J.D. Vance, it's no, like, it's no surprise that J.D. Vance would easily win. I'm going to get to the uh, Trafalgar poll later, but... Uh, in the Trafalgar poll, it basically shows, I believe, 53 or 54%, possibly, I think even more, 55% of voters said they would support uh, Trump's endorsee, uh, basically no matter what. So, and this is going to be contrary to this ridiculous Josh Mandel poll, which I'm about to show. Um, so this story was updated slightly later on because there were people, this, obviously this story got massive you know, there was massive attention on the story on Twitter, and uh, there were a couple of uh, updates. So, we're going to look at this Remington Research Group poll. And the Remington Research poll is, I mean, this has to be one of the most ridiculous polls I've ever seen. I mean, it is so disingenuous, just inaccurate, complete, and utter garbage. So this is a Josh Mandel internal poll. And I actually opened up the image here before. Uh, so it says, so this, if, if endorsed by President Trump, Mandel wins, Vance still loses. So this poll is just utterly ridiculous. It shows Mandel with 33% support if Trump endorses Mandel. And then if Trump endorses Vance... 
JD Vance is only at 15. He's not even in first. So it's utterly ridiculous. It's just, it's just Mandel maintains strong lead in U.S. center race. It's utterly ridiculous. Uh, oh, yeah, and one thing I do want to add in this article um, that was confirmed was that actually it basically says that Trump is either going to support Vance or nobody. So this attempt by Mandel to hold off the endorsement, and I'm also going to get to another – other attempts by other Republicans to stop the Vance endorsement, we're going to see a letter that was uh, obtained by Politico, it was also reported on by Fox News, that all these Ohio Republican establishment leaders are begging Trump not to endorse anyone, and especially not to endorse J.D. Vance. So, anyways, in this, so basically in this poll... These are the current numbers they're reporting. Mandel, 23%. Okay, that's sort of in line with all the other polls. But then you got Mike Gibbons at 17. Matt Dolan, 15%. Jane Timken, 12%. And then J.D. Vance is in last. So this poll is basically trying to say that Dolan is in third place, which is utterly laughable. I mean... Dolan's barely even been above like 7% in most polls and it's unlikely he, he might get like 10 or like 10 to 13% because now we're moving closer in and I think there's he's going to consolidate the moderate Republican vote but either way he doesn't stand a chance of even coming close to winning this race and it has him at 15% although and by the way in all the hypotheticals He's also, in this, he's actually in second, which is, I mean, he's tied for second if Trump endorses Vance. So the reason why this poll is just so utterly ridiculous. So this is if Trump endorses Vance. It is because, by the way, there was another story just a couple days ago, I think on Tuesday, there was a story that uh, Mandel and Gibbons both attacked J.D. Vance's internal polling because they showed him tied with uh, Gibbons and Mandel. And they were scared that this poll is going to convince Trump to endorse uh, J.D. Vance. And they were, like, freaking out. And they were like, oh, no, look, our internal show, like, he has terrible favorability or whatever. And it's all – they're all so scared right now. And it's looking it's looking terrible for Mandel, honestly. And especially Gibbons. I'm going to get to him later on. Uh, so, anyways, I'm going to get to the major reason why this poll is ridiculous. So – if tr so, hypothetically, in this poll, if Trump endorses Vance, Vance only gains five percent. So, so only a five percent bump, and this is where it gets even worse. Mandel loses four. Okay, he only loses four. That makes sense. And then Gibbons only loses two. Dolan stays at the same. Timken only loses one, and then somehow there's more undecideds. <laughs> like you see what i mean like how would that doesn't even make sense i'm gonna get to the again i'm gonna get to the, to the trafalgar poll there is absolutely no way there would be more undecideds if trump endorsed anyone for that mandel uh vance by the way basically again i pointed to this before Van, trump is going to endorse Vance or no one so there's no way there would be more undecideds and the fact that the uh, no, like the support for the other candidates barely even changed is just it's such an utter fabrication, and uh, they polled 884 people. This was just polled a couple days ago, and it's utterly ridiculous. So now we've seen this poll. It is, I mean, it's it's a big, it's a push poll. It's it's a it's an attempt by uh Mandel to basically. Convince Trump not to endorse J.D. Vance, and I am very unconvinced that it is going to change Trump's mind. Um, he halted his endorsement. He had the endorsement written up for Vance, but this is this doesn't even because Trump already knew that Vance was not like he wasn't the top, he wasn't the number one candidate in the race. But Vance is again. We're gonna. I'm again. I'm gonna get to the Trafalgar poll any second now. Trump. Has Trump sees a lot of potential in Vance, and Vance has been increasing his support consistently in every single poll in the past month. He's done very well in the debates. He's done his ads have been very good. 
and he's been gated he's been uh, getting major momentum and anyone who's on the ground or anyone, even you can even see this on Twitter with people changing their minds about JD Vance and people can see that JD Vance is uh the best candidate for uh this uh Ohio Center. So anyways, finally we're going to get to the Trafalgar poll which I've mentioned like maybe four or five times now. And it is a big poll for JD Vance. So we have Josh Mandel at 28%. J.D. Vance is almost at 23%. Gibbons has basically, pl he's plummeted to 14%. Dolan's at a, a, almost 12 Timkins at 7.5%. And, and you have Mark Bukita and then Neil Patel and whatever. And then you have, uh, again, th only 13% undecided. So, in the previous, I believe in the previous Trafalgar poll, J.D. Vance was only at 14%. So this poll shows massive movement in favor of JD Vance and movement against Mike Gibbons. And this poll again is showing major momentum for JD Vance and I think and I think Trump, Trump seeing this poll he sees a lot of potential in JD Vance's growth support. He's not he's not polling in last place like all these other bullshit polls you've seen. I'm sorry for cursing it but it's like utterly fabricated, just ridiculous polls I've seen. Like, it's honestly incredible. These, Like, whoever these pollsters are, Remington Research Group, you also have uh, more information group. These po these pollsters are going to go out of, I swear, they're literally going to go out of business after this primary because they're going to be so off. And then people like, pollsters like Trafalgar and then for Bruzio Lee, which had Vance tied with Mandel and Gibbons, they're, they're going to be proven to be right all along. So... Uh, I'm going to get to the in-depth report. I'm going to briefly cover this. Uh, I don't want to spend that much time on the Trafalgar poll since it's basically sort of uh, clear what the indications are. So uh, this is the governor poll. I'm not too concerned about that. I'm more uh, committed to this Senate race. But. So if President Trump endorsed a candidate, would you be more or less likely to support that candidate? And a majority of voters, 55 I believe I said 55% before, uh, fifty-five percent of voters would say it would make them more likely to support that candidate, and only twenty-five percent said less likely, and then nineteen point four percent said wouldn't affect. So, you've got a majority of voters saying that the Trump's endorsement would make them more likely to support that candidate. If that if if JD Vance even gets half that amount, JD Vance is uh, like uh, he's almost at fifty percent support. So. I mean, this is gigantic news because what this poll has done, it's proven all these people wrong. There have been people for months on Twitter, uh, everywhere. His uh, JD Vance's rivals, they've been saying, oh, JD Vance is a never Trumper. He's like, he's, he's, he's not like committed to these America first principles. And like, he, he doesn't stand a chance. His poll numbers are terrible and it's, it's a complete lie. It's a complete lie. Um, and JD Vance has again proven everyone wrong. And now we're moving to the final weeks of the primary, and JD Vance is in second place. He's in a solid second place, way ahead of Mike Gibbons, and uh, he's closing in on Josh Mandel. And when Trump, Trump has probably definitely seen this poll already. I mean, the pro it was probably revealed even before. So, um, so Trump seeing this poll, I mean, it's so over. And I bet probably right now Vance's campaign is showing Trump like all like all these polls that they've been all these smears are just like utterly ridiculous against JD Vance. And I'm gonna get to the other attempts by other Republicans to stop uh this uh, endorsement. And by the way, this is basically the current state of the race. I mean, <laughs> this is a pretty funny picture I made. It's uh, <laughs> it's it's that uh. It's that famous thing that happened in 2020 when there were those Trump cars, like uh, and trucks that were like, uh, like surrounding this Biden van, and I just put Gibbons' bus here, and then, <laughs> you know, this is basically the state of the race right now. But anyways, we're gonna get to the political story. So Ohio Republicans gang up to stop uh, Vance endorsement. So it says local party officials and Vance's Senate primary rivals are working hard to convince Donald Trump not to back the hillbilly elegy author. So it is it's on a, this is probably some of the most desperate things I've ever seen. So this it mentions the um, 
it mentions the uh, Mandel poll, which I just showed, the Remington Research Group or whatever the pollster is called. And so, anyways, we're going to get this is basically the big headline here. So, a collection of more than three dozen GOP chairs and state party central committee members, including some from the state's most populous counties, also banded together to sign a letter urging Trump not to endorse the fans, noting that he referred to your supporters as racist and proudly voted for Evan McMullen in 2016. So that first line, by the way, is an utter lie. I'm not going to get into like how it's just inaccurate, but basically Trump was saying that there were like some voters, some Trump voters who were motivated by, you know, more racial or more racial reasons. But Trump did not call uh, Trump supporters racist at all. And that's basically, that's been debunked months ago. So it's a really, it's an old smear. So, but uh, it's, you've got a bunch of people pressuring Trump not to endorse uh, J.D. Vance. So it says, Trump also heard recently from Club for Golf president uh, David McIntosh, a Mandel supporter who traveled with Trump over the weekend to a North Carolina rally. Trump has also told people during the trip, uh, has also told people that during the trip, McIntosh tried to sway him from endorsing Vance, according to one person with knowledge of Trump's remarks. The club did not immediately respond to a request uh, for comment. So it's uh, it's in ins this is an ins this is one of the this is one of the, the biggest political stories right now. And uh, so this is the part. This is also another pretty important part. Uh, so Trump's decision recently narrowed down to Vance and Mandel, according to a person close to the former president. Mandel, who ran for Senate in 2018 before dropping on the race, has consistently led in polling throughout the GOP primary. Investment banker Mike Gibbons is not on his radar. His radar, the person said, and Trump has ran off backing Jane Timken, who he endorsed in 2017 in her successful race for the Ohio Republican Party chair. So, uh, this, uh, this poll is honestly, it's, it's, this story is just utterly, it's honestly insane because they're so committed that like, oh, Vance, does, he doesn't even, he doesn't, but JD Vance has no chance. And this is a line that, you know, a bunch of people on predicted, a bunch of people on Twitter, you know, all these people have been promoting, but then all of a sudden when, when, uh, you know, when JD Vance is gaining momentum and then, and then a Trump endorsement seems to be almost certain by this point, then they're all, they all gang up together to stop him. And it just shows like how scared they are that, uh, you know, JD Vance, it's going to be Ohio's next U.S. senator because basically, if he wins this primary, then he'll he'll win the general election because Ohio's a pretty solid Republican state now. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty. This story also mentions uh, a couple other stuff. Uh, previous uh, that Trump also is also going to have a rally on the twenty third. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this story. But we're going to get to this letter. I'm going to briefly discuss this letter. And we can clearly see here, doctor, uh, uh, sorry, d doctor, dear President Trump, we the undersigned leader, and the, it's all this bullshit, and they're all arguing that, oh, Trump should endorse J.D. Vance, and they list all these debunked, ridiculous reasons, and you got all these people, you know, all these establishment Republican people, I, I was talking to some people on a, on a Twitter yesterday, and this guy, Alec Transflow, he's a, he's a Timken stooge, uh, and yeah, a bunch of all these, Doug Simpson, I believe is another one. These people are all losers and they're so desperate to stop, uh, JD Vance. So we're seeing massive movement in favor of JD Vance right now. Uh, before, uh, again, the, some people are predict, some people are like utterly, some people are predict they're just like utterly ridiculous, but unpredicted. We have J.D. Vance uh, in first easily, and if you look at the 90-day graph, uh, Vance has been gaining uh, significantly. So you can see here, just just a week ago on the 8th, J.D. Vance was only at 29, and he's skyrocketed since then. Uh, Gibbons has collapsed. He was at 50 just eight days ago, and now he's at uh, 31, and that was at the end of yesterday. Now he's plummeted ten points. He's at twenty one cents. Gibbons has basically he's been completely failed in this race, honestly. And Timkin, by the way, in the Trafalgar poll, it's honestly really funny. 
Uh, Timken is at 7.5%. She's actually behind Dolan now, which is utterly embarrassing. She's pl absolutely plummeted in relevance. So, um, uh, then we also have the, uh, Ohio, uh, Ohio Republican Senate primary endorsement, primary for Trump, and J.D. Vance is heavily favored right now, 78 cents. So, this race is very crucial to uh really really the republican party as a whole because we're at a we're basically i'd say we're we're really if jd vance wins this prime we're gonna have an, a great republican senator we basically have none right now but every single almost every single republican senator is an utter joke they're all corporate stooges they all support the same garbage establishment politics and once we get jd vance in the senate we're gonna see massive movements in the Republican Party away from this garbage establishment uh, ideology. So, with J.D. Vance in the Senate, I mean, it's going to be, it's going to be so much better. And that, I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm, pro I'm a very enthusiastic supporter of J.D. Vance. And I've been, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been researching this race for months. I've been, I've been focused on it for a long time. And... Now that I've I've seen this for a while, I've seen basically J. D. Vance's rise has basically been inevitable. When he announced in July, his support has always been consistently going up, except for you know that point during the winter where you had all those ridiculous polls that came out that um and all these ridiculous stories that were coming out that were really hurting J. D. Vance. But now he's really rebounded, and we're seeing major movement in favor of J. D. Vance. So, uh. This is pretty much where I want to conclude this video. Again, this is this is going to be my last video covering this race. Um, I might make a video like wh who wins this race, but in the end, this will pro this will be my last video at least before the primary happens. So uh, again, the primary is like a couple two weeks away. Unless something, if Trump endor officially endorses Vance, I'm not going to make a video on that. Oh. You know, I'll be active on Twitter or whatever, but I'm not going to make a new video on this race because uh, based on the trajectory we have right now, it's increasingly looking like J.D. Vance uh, will win the uh, Ohio Republican Senate primary. So uh, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Uh, of course, like and subscribe for more. If you would like, uh, you know, if you want to suggest videos I can make, you know, you're free to do so in the comments down below. And uh, I hope you all have a good day. You can, of course, follow me on, you know, Twitter. I'll put a link to that in the description. Uh, and I'll also put a link to all these uh, uh, stories I have, all the tweets or whatever, the political story, the Trafalgar poll. I'll put that in the description down below. And also pr the predicted pages, I guess, too. So uh, I hope you all have an excellent day. And I will see you all in the next video. So, farewell.